Alright guys, Rollout well, here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. This time it's going to be on major 7th cards inside FL Studio 12. Now, I'm basically just going to be showing you how to create any 7th card on your own. You know, without any, you don't need anything, any knowledge really to do this. You just need what I'm about to tell you and you'll be able to do it nice and easy. So, first of all, what you're going to see here is a, well, a C major 7th chord. A minor, see minor seventh card. My apologies. And to make this, we're going to use four numbers because there are four notes in the chord. So the first number we're going to put at zero, which is C. So zero. Now we're going to count up one, two, three. Three, D sharp. Now we're going to put a note at D sharp. So that's one zero three we've got so far. So write that down on like a piece of paper or something and write minor next to it, so 0, 3, 1, 2, no 3, so sorry, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 0, 3, 7, and that is G. And from G we go up 7, so 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, to A sharp. Now, up an octave so you can hear it better. Um, so 0, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Three notes up. So that full chord progression for C is 0, 3, 7, 10, as I have just shown you guys, and I will write that down. Um, and that will pretty much be the first chord. Now, from the first chord, you might want to add, let's say you don't just want to keep this, you know, minor, you don't want to keep it in minor the whole chord progression because a lot of chord progressions are made up of major and minor chords so how do you go from a minor seventh C chord to you know let's say let's say major B major B so we've got our minor B here now if we want to turn this major all we do is go from the 0 3 7 so if you're writing this down 0 3 7 10 we're going to change the middle notes, well, the second note to a 4, then the last note to an 11. So we've got 0, 4, 7, 11. Now, if you count that in note wise, you will see 0, 4, so this one has to change, this one has to go up 1. Then the last one, A, here, has to go up 1 because 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, up like that. Now, let's hear what that sounds like. Sounds good, sounds like, you know, sounds good, no complaints. And we can also actually add a bit more bass to this. We can select the bottom two, control, left click with the draw tool and control, control it, well, control C, sorry, hit control C and then control V to paste it and then control down to put it down an octave and move it into place. I don't know why it's out of place, sometimes it does that. Is, is an octave down of the same bottom note so it's nothing you know fancy you don't need it it's just add a bit more bass a bit more sound to the chord if that's what you're looking for now let's go back to maybe let's go back oh uh, no let's not let's go from B to a B minor so the same chord but a B minor now we're going to pull this down back this back to 3 and this back to 11 no 10 same bass note. Then maybe finish on a G major. Let's go G major. G major. So turn this back up to four and this up there. Maybe let's maybe not make this a B, let's go maybe down A. Let's see how this sounds.
to that and maybe our chord progression. Now all I did there was go up and down, you know, a few notes in the scale. If you're not sure about the scale, then I might do a video showing you scales, you know, music theory scales, all that kind of stuff. But this, what I, I've done there basically, yeah, just go up and down the scales until you find the right notes, the right combinations. You know, do it yourself. Don't just copy someone else. Go in, play with the notes, but don't mess with the the numbers, the 0, 4, 7, 11, and the 0, 3, 7, 10. Don't mess with them. Keep them, you can use both combinations of both of them, but keep them, don't move the notes, like don't, you know, mess about with the notes, because it can ruin the whole progression if you start, you know, moving notes up and down, or, you know, fiddling with them. So, keep them 0, 3, 7, 10, 0, 4, 7, 11, and you should be fine. As you'll see, all of these notes, minor, first one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, 10, second one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and the other two are the same, this one's minor, this one is major, like I said, so let's listen to that and see how it sounds. also copy these ones which is control shift and left clicking the top ones control V again control C and then V again pull it up and then pull it in place Oops, messed up a bit there but yeah, I don't I don't like that you can do that for some notes but I don't know I don't like it with the roads now what can we do with this progression well I'll let you listen one more time and I will you know let you get guess what I'm going to do. So what, what do you guys think I'm going to do as you listen to this? Okay, so what I was going to do, what I am going to do is I'm going to strum the notes. So it plays instead of just blah, blah, it's going to like slide up a bit like it's being strummed on a guitar. Now to do that, we're going to hit Control A, which will select all of the notes, every single one of them. And actually, actually, hmm, I'm going to strum each chord individually. So I'm going to put this one until it sounds good, and then I'm going to do that for each. So Control Shift and drag down the first one, and go to the wrench tool up here, and go to Strum. Now, once we're in Strum, you're going to see the Strumizer aptly named and we're going to mess with the tension until we've got uh, got it sounding well, how we like. Now I'm not sure if you can see this, I'm not 100%, I hope you can because it should be capturing this but sometimes you know the recording studio messes up but we're going to mess with the time here so if we pull the time like and that sounds good. We're also going to mess with the velocity which you'll see here which means the bass note will be played at a different you know strength than the others kind of That makes obviously that makes the top notes so the you know the more tonal notes the kind of high pitched more notes are a lot like more they're not as strong got more of an emphasis on bass which I like I do like how that sounds we're going to do it for the second one or actually let's see okay so like second one we're strong Sounds good. Now this one. Maybe make that right. Make variations on it as well. So um, it doesn't sound so robotic. Like it sounds like maybe you played it yourself, kind of. So make the velocity maybe a bit different on here. The tension, the time a bit 
tighter. This is the velocity tension a bit more. Go back to the last one and we'll mess with that one a bit. Make it our own. That sounds good, that does sound, that does sound really good. G sharp chord actually sounds like amazing. It sounds so good to me. Um, is there anything else we could do with these chords? Probably not. This is probably a finished product of the chords. You know, again, you know, it's just the those numbers that you heard at the start. The integer notations should be fine. Should be enough for you to make your own chords. Should be enough for you to, you know, do it on your own. And hopefully this helps you guys. It helped me a lot when I was learning production. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the subs lately. If you're watching this, you're a new subscriber. I'd like to personally thank you. I may do a video, you know, just thanking all you guys because I'm happy with the rate my YouTube's growing. I'm happy with the engagement and I'm happy with, you know, you guys just helping me out and, you know, commenting on my instrumentals and stuff. It means the world to me. Like, it, um, it really does help and it really does make me happy and help me out. So, take care, guys, and thank you very much for watching.